So the question that comes up is how is this particular testing different than some of the other commercial tests that look at the microbiome on the market? Um, a few things. This test is, I think, much better at looking at the overall landscape of the microbiome. It's much more thorough and is much more comprehensive. But this test is not so much about looking for pathology as it is looking at a person's individual trends or tendencies. So, for example, there's bacteria that have been associated with an increased risk of diarrhea bacteria that have been associated with an increased risk of constipation. I've not seen that kind of report showing up from what I get with the other labs that I've used. The other labs might say, yeah, here's a marker for inflammation like calprotectin or secretory IgA or eosinophil protein X, and those are fine. Those are useful markers. So I would tend to use a test like that for, say, a person with inflammatory bowel disease. But this particular test that got bio is much better if you want a comprehensive evaluation of the landscape, of the geography, of what's going on with a person's gut microbiome.